what's up you guys i'm back with another freaking video yes i'm back i know what i know within the same week that's that's an improvement and and uh, so you already know i got a camera mm. well actually i've been having this camera but i ain't used it because it doesn't have one of those flip lenses where i see myself so yeah so i have to literally turn it on go behind it make sure the angles are right come down sit down say a little something go back play to make sure all the angles are right so i really hope you guys can see me and i really hope the angle is not off and it's blurry and i really hope it's recording because i did do a video i did the whole video and it wasn't it wasn't recording so I hope it's recording and I hope you guys can hear me. So we'll 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 see. But as you read the title, today is going to be five facts that you should stop doing to your natural hair. If you want to know those five facts, then keep on watching. <laughs> Number one that you should stop doing to your hair is using oil on your hair without a moisturizer. Now, oil, especially for our natural hairs, our 4C hair, especially for our hair, oil is not a moisturizer. Oil is a sealant. So you want to put some, some type of moisturizer on your hair first. Then put the oil on top so the um, oil can seal in the moisturizer and then that will moisturize your hair. If you use just oil with no moisturizer and your hair is dry, it's just sealing in the dryness that's already on your hair and that causes breakage and it causes frizz and let's be honest, who wants breakage and frizz, you know? Fact number two that you should stop doing to your natural hair is you should stop sleeping when there with nothing on your head. As far as a bonnet, a silk scarf, or even a satin pillow. Cotton dries your hair out. Think about it. You're laying on your hair, right, and you just washed it, you deep conditioned, you did all that good stuff, and you just taking your hair and you're just rubbing it and you're just doing this while you're sleeping, it's taking that moisture out of your hair with what you wake up with knots and kinks in your hair. You wake up with more frizz and your hair is dry and then all your oil is on your pillow. So what you should do is start sleeping with a bonnet or a satin or silk scarf. That way when you wrap your hair at night, you can, the moisture stays in your hair and your moisture lasts longer. Now I know there's ladies up there just like, well, my man don't like it when I sleep with bonnets and scarves on. Well, tough nut, girl. Hey, would he rather have you sleeping at night with bonnet on, or would he rather for your hair to be breaking off all over the floor, all over the house? You got a little ball patch in your head now because you've been sleeping without your bonnet. Then what he gonna do? He gonna be rubbing scalp. So. Tell him to chill, chill, or get you a satin pillow. He gets you a satin pillowcase. You ain't got to worry about sleeping with nothing on your head. So tell him to make his decision. Period. Number three, what you should stop doing to your hair is applying heat. Please, for everything in me, stop using heat on your hair. I'm talking flat eyes, I'm talking blow dryers, any form of heat, stop it. Stop it, the sit under dryer, stop it. That just causes more damage to your hair, breakage, all that good stuff, or bad stuff. And let's, like I said, what? So let's stop applying heat, please. Just for the love of it. And I know ladies, we like our straight hair, and you don't want to wear your kinks and coils and curls, that's, that's fine, no one's making you, um, but let's, 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 um, if you're going to apply heat to your hair, <laughs> if you're going to apply heat to your hair, please use a, a, a protective, I need protectors, please. Because I just 
me. Heat is not good for anybody's hair. It causes heat damage, breakage, and I mean, it's not worth it. Honestly, it's really not worth it. You're straight. You do have a straight hair. Honestly, is it really worth the damage that's causing to your hair? It's not. So remember, you're gonna have to. If you have to use heat, you want to use heat. You can't get away from heat. Use a heat protecting spray. Deep condition your hair at least twice a week, and also to keep that moisture. And also, don't turn it up past 400. Your hair starts to melt at 400 degrees, so just keep it below 400. And not no, not 390. No, excuse me. Keep it about 250 or lower. Or I don't know. I've chunked my flannel a long time ago. I don't even know what flannel I screw up to nowadays. At least I got a sewing in, and I get I mean, my thing beyond 400. But let's keep the heat away. Let's make that hashtag keep keep heat away. Four on what you should stop doing to your hair is using a small tooth comb like this to comb out your hair. This this right here, trash it. Throw them away. Don't use them. I'm gonna pick that up though. Cause uh, you know, these are the best thing for part of your hair. But to comb your hair, do not do this. You're breaking your hair off. You're pulling good hair out of your scalp. You're tearing, you're ripping your hair out with this. Do you understand me? You're ripping your hair out with this. So this is a no-no. This is a no. This is the worst thing besides heat you can do to your natural hair. Trash me. Set. Get you one of these. Yeah, these are wide tooth combs. Get you one of these. They're no cheaper than those. These are, this is like a dollar. This is gross. This is really gross. But yeah, this is like a dollar at like the dollar store. You can go to Walmart and get like a pack of these. Like, you really want to eat now? Anyway, get you one of these. They're a lifesaver, especially when you're deconditioning your hair and you just can take it and you can go from root to end, root to end, get all the conditioner, not all the scalp and all from your hair. These are amazing tools. I have like five of them. Get you one, get you one in every color. You will not regret it, I swear. Because um these are awesome. Those other that other comb is it's it's it's, it's good to your hair. It basically will rip your hair out and you will be baldy. Just don't do it. And it causes breakage. Just don't do it. Get you a nice, good old fashioned wide tooth comb or finger the thing. That's fine too if you want to do that. I feel like personally combs are better because I feel like combs really get in there and get all the peaks and not the out. Look, your fingers can only do so much. But a comb can do more. So what I would do is while I'm deconditioning my hair, I would wait 30 minutes while I'm deconditioning. After the 30 minutes, I would take me a nice comb, comb it through, and then I would start finger detangling. And it's amazing. And yeah. Number five on what you should stop doing to your hair. Is envying someone else's natural hair. It's, it's no reason for that. Love your hair. If you got a tiny fro to the longest hair to your ankles, it's not healthy. I even went so far as envy people that didn't even have the same hair type as me. Like, um, and I still watch their videos, but it's more entertainment now and then, or it's more ideas. But uh, she had. 3C hair, mm, can't do anything with that, or 2B hair, like, I can't, I can't do anything with that, so I would suggest, do not take what other people are doing to their hair to heart, because they can show you one thing on camera, 
and do a totally different thing in reality. They can tell you, oh, I don't do anything to my hair. I just put some water in it and go. Or And their hair is colored. It, it, it's, it's straight today. It's curly tomorrow. They put so much heat on it. but And they're showing this on camera, how to protect your hair using heat. But in reality, they're not helping you. They're doing more harm to their hair. And they're probably really, at, in reality, aren't even doing it. You know what I mean? So... Do your hair, learn your hair, because even 4C hair, everybody's 4C hair is not the same. My hair and your hair, even if we have the same texture, is not the same. Even if your hair is colored, it's not the same. So don't take... Can I help you? Don't take, don't take what people are doing to their hair. Don't take what people are doing to their hair so realistically. Learn your own hair. Care for your hair. It's fine to take tips from others and apply it to your routine, but you don't have to do their whole routine. You know? So they're deep conditioning and they're plaiting their hair up and then they're gonna pre poo and they're gonna they're gonna condition their hair and shampoo and do oil-based treatment and, and not everyone has time for that. You don't have to do that. Honestly, as long as you're taking care of your hair, deep conditioning your hair, love your hair, love yourself, and don't take your hair for granted and be patient because honestly, Patience would make your hair grow before any remedy and treatment that somebody's going to tell you to do to your hair and think it's going to grow overnight. Your hair doesn't, I mean, let's be realistic. Six. There's a bonus. Number six is something you should do after you wash your hair. And that is a protective style. You should protect your hair. Now these afros and these pretty pineapples that everyone does is amazing. I am a fanatic for a high bun, a high ponytail, a high puff, whatever you want to call it, and also the nice little cute afros, the curly afros, we love it, with my little side part, and I slay the edges, you know, slay the edges or whatever. Um, that's cool and all, but You've got to find a hairstyle that does not need to ma be manipulated every day. Those hairstyles have to be manipulated, if not every day, every other day. So I would suggest that you start doing twist outs, braids, sew in, something that's going to protect your hair, keep your hair in one style for a week, two weeks, take it down, deep condition, and then put it back. I guarantee you, pinky promise, you, your hair will grow like that. A deep condition, a good deep conditioner, shampoo, a good one, you shampoo twice, I mean, uh, every two weeks, you deep condition once a week, and you keep your hair in a protective style, I promise you your hair will grow and also it will be less prone to dryness. That's a guarantee I can make you as long as you're moisturizing your hair before you put it. I mean, you can't twist your hair up, your dry hair up and expect your hair to grow. But no, after you wash and deep condition your hair, put your moisturizers in it, twist your hair up, bantu knot your hair up, braid your hair up, and don't touch it. Watch what I tell you. And then after a week, two weeks, take it down, wash it, deep condition it, 
um, shampoo it this second time around. Put it, moisturize it. Put it in a protective style. Again, so your hair is going to start to grow. It's not going to grow overnight, but it's going to start to grow because without manipulation to your hair constantly, your hair will grow. And I learned that the hard way. Thank you guys so much for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> but no, seriously, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the views and the subscribers, the new subscribers. I see you. Hi, how are you? I'm Alexis. <laughs> and this channel is literally about my hair, my natural hair journey, and talking to people about what I do to keep my hair healthy and growing. And what I've learned, my failures, my accomplishments, this is what this, this is what this YouTube is about. And if you want to stay tuned and you want to take this journey with me along with your journey, if you've been natural for forever or you just been coming natural or you just went natural yesterday, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you clicked on the video. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing, and I will see you guys next time.